everybody, Brandon Lewis here. It's been a while, uh, went on vacation, have not had a whole lot of interviews, although we've got a great one coming up tomorrow, but I'm excited to be with you here. Uh, if, if you're watching us from anywhere across the fruited plains of Tennessee, leave it in the comments section. Let us know from whence you are viewing this. Uh, over the past few months, uh, we have built a, a very large subscriber base of conservatives just like you uh, who care about what's going on in Tennessee that feel like in many ways uh, Tennessee's not heading in the right direction that our media isn't fair uh, that we're getting a lot of unbiased uh, or a lot of biased stories from the media about what's going on in Tennessee and what's going on in our nation we're also seeing a, a lot of uh, foot dragging in my opinion uh, by our legislature and our executive branch to address specific issues like illegal immigration. And so I hope you've enjoyed the coverage we've been bringing you there. But, you know, it's great, and I enjoy bringing you the news. I really do. I, we enjoy reporting on it. Uh, we enjoy making you laugh, making you smile, maybe making you uh, a little angry about some of the things that are going on that need to be uh, brought to your attention because if you don't know about it, you can't change it. But there's one thing that I think is equally important and that is getting together. Um, you know, one of the big reasons you go to church on Sunday and one reason, uh, one big reason that the body of Christ comes together is because there is something that happens when you corporately gather people together of a like mind that cannot happen through social media, it cannot happen through email, it cannot happen through text, it cannot happen any other way, can't happen through Zoom, can't, can't happen like this. Uh, East Tennessee, Lee Walker says, Ray County, Glad you're here, buddy. Anybody else want to tell me where you're from? I'm going to try to go through here and read the comments if I can scroll down. Uh, but it's important to bring people together. And that's why I'm excited to talk to you about the Tennessee Freedom Summit. And this is not a one-trick pony. It will not just be me. In fact, uh, one of the big things that I decided I wanted to do when I founded the Tennessee Conservative back in October of last year, uh, amid all the uh, shenanigans and the freedom-stealing uh, that went on with coronavirus was to bring conservative organizations together. So often we work in disparate batches while the left coalesces and moves forward. So I'm trying to, to help prevent that and one of the ways I'm trying to do it is uh, through the Tennessee Freedom Summit which is only 30 days away now. So if you're dragging your feet on getting tickets, drag your feet no longer. Go ahead and register for this puppy. Uh, we're 30 days away from it. It's on July 10th. Uh, it will be from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. I'm going to give you some details. So if you've wondered, ah, should I come to this thing, should I not come to this thing, I'm going to give you all the details right now. It's July 10th from 8 to 5 o'clock, and it's uh, at a beautiful, beautiful venue out in, in God's creation, Mother Nature, uh, called the uh, Johnson Woods uh, Complex. It's really used a lot for youth retreats, but it's beautiful. It's a, it's a great location. Um, and we're going to have Gary Umber of Tennessee Stands. He's been a fighter, and he's out there uh, trying to help us understand that, that many people that really should be fighting for us uh, in the Republican Party uh, really don't have a very good conservative grounding, especially when it comes to individual rights and liberties and freedom. And uh, they talk a good game on the campaign trail, but they don't always deliver in the committee and the subcommittee meetings. They won't always take action. They will not always be vocal. And so he's going to talk about how you can get involved uh, in the Tennessee uh, Republican primaries so that we can get people that are more uh, likely to vote with their districts and a lot, a lot less likely to vote with lobbyists or PAC money, which I think is critically important. I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, Tory Venable of Americans for Prosperity is going to be discussing how do you go lobby in Nashville how do you actually go there and instead of uh, our Republican candidates and Democrat candidates taking all of their leads uh, from paid lobbyists from corporations and often government entities who pay these lobbyists with your tax dollars, which is another element altogether. So you're going to talk about how do you do that in a respectful way? How do you do that in a way that actually gets things done? Uh, and if, again, in the comments section, let me know where you're watching this from. Uh, Lee was kind enough to do that. If you're watching and Tell me where you're from. I always like to know this. It, it makes me it makes me happy. Uh, we're going to have uh, Shaka Mitchell, who's been fighting and bringing attention and advocating for school choice. It is so funny that in Tennessee, 
But we're supposed to be this dark red state, right? Well, we have to fight and claw tooth and nail to get Republicans to allow our children to have school choice. It's amazing. Again, it goes back to that the fact of not being rooted in small government, individual liberty. Hi from DeKalb County, Tennessee. Floyd, thank you. I appreciate you joining us as I, as I walk through these details. Uh, so he's going to talk about how can you fight for school choice? How can you uh, be involved in making sure that your school boards are responsive to your needs locally? How can you keep a lot of, uh, of, of things out of the school system that can be harmful? How do you hold them accountable to deliver results? And we're really, this event is about bringing conservatives together and conservative organizational leaders together so that we can all work together. We're going to kick this puppy off, which is going to be fun, with a breakfast in the morning, and uh, that's included in your whopping. It's very large, very expensive, $47. I don't, I don't want to break your bank. I don't want to postpone your retirement, but it costs money to rent places and it costs money to feed people. So we're going to feed you breakfast. Uh, we're also going to have a boxed lunch. So come hungry. It's going to be a hot breakfast. I had an option. I don't like continental breakfast. I'll just be honest. Continental breakfast is not breakfast. That's what you eat when you're in a hurry and you're on the road. I wanted to do better than that for you all. Um, and what else? Uh, the agenda, again, starts at 8, closes at 5. It's in a great place. We'll have plenty of parking. Um, and we're going to mingle from 8 to 9 and get to know one another and talk to one another. Uh, the way that we're going to close out the program, the last thing that we're going to have, is a all-star grassroots panel. And these are four leaders in the conservative movement that are getting things done in Tennessee. And uh, we're going to have uh, Adam Calabrese from Calvary Chapel to talk about faith. Uh, I know that we're going to have uh, Mr. Dram from Teleco Plains talk about how you can use uh, the Nextdoor app to organize your community, to find like-minded conservatives, and to gather them together so that you can influence change. He's done a phenomenal job of that up around the Teleco Plains area. Uh, we're going to have a, a representative, and I'm sorry this has skipped my mind and I didn't uh, make notes of this, uh, from one of Gary's uh, Tennessee Stands chapters. I'm almost positive up in Knoxville. I wish I had that name uh, written down. And also a representative from a local chapter of Americans for Prosperity that has, has made a big difference as a volunteer and uh, really getting things done and moving the needle. So if you have yet to register for the Tennessee Freedom Summit, you need to do it. And I'm telling you guys, um, I'll close with this. I'll close with two things. The first thing is this. If you think your neighbor, if you think your neighbor is going to defend your liberties, if you think your state representative is going to defend your liberties. If you think your state senator or your governor is going to defend your liberties, your mayor, um, I've seen little evidence to support that. We've got a handful of fighters in the Republican Party, and we've got a handful of conservative fighters. They're in power, they're vocal, and that will tell it like it is, and that will push back against this stuff. But for the most part, we've just kind of got a bunch of people that go along to get along in leadership in Tennessee. And they'll, they'll do things if they think it's going to give them a black eye, and they'll do things if they think that it's going to be publicly embarrassing, and they'll do things uh, if they think they're going to lose some money uh, or some PAC influence or make some corporate people that have given them lots of money to fund their campaigns uh, mad. But if you really don't organize, if you don't equip and educate yourself, if you don't get your hands dirty, if you're not going to get involved, you might as well kiss your freedom goodbye and definitely the freedom of your kids and grandkids. And that's really the big reason I got involved in the conservative movement after five years of hibernation again, because I don't want my two daughters to grow up in Tennessee headed in the direction that I think it's headed. I'll be honest with you. I've not seen a lot of bravery uh, and a lot of courage uh, given the onslaught from a lot of the federal stuff that's been coming down the pike here lately. And uh, in fact, we've watched a lot of our own uh, people that should be on our team uh, be very poor defenders of liberty, very poor defenders of freedom. Uh, you know, I, I'd rather I'd rather have a church mouse defend me and my liberty than a lot of people that are supposed to be leading uh, us in that direction. Now, last thing, for some reason, you desperately want to come to the Tennessee Freedom Summit. I mean, it's like the thing you want to do, but you live in Memphis. You live in someplace real far away. Maybe it's hard for you to get out. 
uh, maybe you've got a wedding or, or something planned that weekend or a family trip and you just can't make it, can't be done, do me a favor. Go to TennesseeConservativeNews.com slash support and give any amount to help us fund this event because we'll take that money and we'll market this event, try to get more people to it. Uh, you get two proud Tennessee uh, conservative bumper stickers when you give any amount. And if you give $50 or more, we will send you this proud Tennessee conservative tumbler. And uh, if you put one of those uh, fake Joe Biden ballots in there uh, that has no watermarks and is not bent and is made out of, of different types of paper than what is printed by the government, and you put it in here and you shake it up and you dump it out, it actually becomes a genuine Trump ballot. So it has magical properties. It takes uh, things that are uh, fake and evil and it turns them into things that are real and good. So you'll want that. And we also send you, no matter what you give, this directory of state and local uh, officials in the U.S. or the U.S. rather the Tennessee uh, legislature and the Tennessee uh, Senate. And we send those to you so that when a bunch of monkey business is coming down the pike uh, from our legislature or if they're just sitting on their pine parts doing nothing, uh, as illegal immigration ravages our state, you can encourage them to, to have some courage and to take some action. Brandon Lewis here with the Tennessee Conservative News. I appreciate you guys. I cannot wait to see you in person. I stand about five foot six, very short dude. So don't you'll be underwhelmed when you see me. You may not be able to find me in a crowd of tall people, but uh, I can't wait to meet you at the Tennessee Freedom Summit to shake your hand because we need to get conservatives together. This needs to become a ground swell movement in Tennessee. We need to ditch our fear. We need to throw away our insecurities, and we need to fight for freedom. We need to fight for the things that we hold dear because if we don't do it, I promise you, no one else will. Talk to you next time, guys. Be good. Love you very much. Floyd Caldwell, thank you for joining us. Appreciate you, Lee. All you guys out there, drop it in the uh, comment section. Let me know where you're watching from. I'll talk to you next time. Take care, guys.